filled with our words of gratitude and love. So please bow your heads with me as we prepare to begin this ceremony with prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for how smoothly this weekend has run so far. Thank you so much for this class. Thank you for the people, the families, the loved ones, those who we don't even know have helped us. Thank you so much for the journey that we have been given an opportunity to walk along. Thank you so much for walking in it with us. Continue to walk with us, continue to guide us, continue to bless our lives and our futures and our careers and our academics and our future families. Thank you so much for being here tonight with us and please help this evening to run smoothly. In Jesus' name, amen. Selfless and loving mom. Oh, will the following people please stand? Uh, mom, dad, Rachel, granny, the Ringer family, the Edwards family, the Hanawalt family, Bryson, the Beckworth family, Dean Jen and Dean J JP, um, Carly, Samuel, Daniel, Jeremy, and Esther, my OG Hall, Ian, the Hilliverts, the Ashcrafts, Mr. Wade, and Pastor Will and Miss Christie, and Pastor Carlos Clinton. Yeah. No, I my selfless and loving mom, you've given Rachel and I both so much and have never wavered in your belief that we could do anything as long as we put our mind to it. Thank you for being the best mom I could ever ask for. You have always been my number one supporter and have always been there for me when I needed you. Thank you for always cheering me up when I'm down and for making me feel loved, cared for, and special. For my strong and dependable dad, thank you for being a great father and provider for me. You show me what a hardworking man looks like, and I've always put our family first. You have taught me to be independent and to stay determined, because if I do, I can achieve anything. Thank you for never giving up on me. I am blessed to have a father like you. I recognize and appreciate both of your immense contributions to my success, and I want you to know that I owe everything I have to you guys. Words are not enough to express how much I appreciate all your love, sacrifices, and dedication. I am so proud to be called your daughter. I love you both so much. To my amazing sister, Rachel, Thank you for being someone I can always depend on and for being someone who is always there for me. You're my number one best friend, and I cannot thank you enough for all the laughs, cries, and hugs that we have shared. I could not have made it here without you, and I could not have asked for a better sister. I love you so much. To my caring grandma, let me start by saying your cookies, hugs, and laughs always make me smile. There's nobody quite like you. Thank you for your unlimited love and generosity. When I'm your age, I hope I can be as radiant and as loving as you are. I love you, Granny. To my aunts, uncles, and cousins, you guys have brought into my life so many beautiful memories that I'm going to cherish forever. Thank you guys for always being there as people whom I can depend on. I'm thankful for all your love and for all your support. To my wonderful boyfriend, Bryson, there's a quote that says, to love is nothing, to be loved is something, but to love and be loved, that's everything. So thank you, Bryson, for being my everything. Words cannot begin to describe how much you truly mean to me. I love you so much. The Beckworth family, thank you for all your care and love that you have given me these last few years. You have been like my family away from home, and I am beyond grateful for all your love and care. The deans, thank you for all your guidance and care. You guys have been true inspirations to me and great deans, but most importantly have been people that I could turn to. My OG Hall, I love all our memories from making crazy TikToks together to just eating dried mango and talking about life with you all. You've made my life in the dorms so much more fun. To all my friends and teachers, thank you guys for making high school fun. I am so glad to have people like you guys that I can call not just friends, but family. I hope we can continue to have many laughs together like we've had here. Love you guys. Um, will the following people please stand? Um, Mom, Dad, Karen, Chad, Megan, Tara, the Dreskies, the Mathises, the Reddings, the Ingersolls, Principal Watkins, Mr. Wade, Pastor Will, Clara, Nathan, Lily, and Callian. Mom, my first best friend, you push me daily to be the best person I can be. Your patience is something I strive for, and the way you care for others is what motivates me in my future plans. You've always instilled a love for Jesus in my life and have shown me what it means to be a Christ-centered woman. Thank you for being the best shopping partner and always supporting me in whatever I do. Dad, 
Thank you for showing me what a true man looks like and setting the bar high for all the other guys in my life. Thank you for always being willing to help me and teach me new things, from fishing to sending out a fax. Thank you for constantly pushing me to do my best, not to settle, and to grow to my full potential. Mom and Dad, thank you for always being there through the good and bad and always listening to me after a long day at school. You two are my biggest role models, and I love you more than you both will ever know. Chad and Karen, thank you for always being there for me and giving me advice. I always have so much fun with y'all, and you guys are more like a second set of parents than my brother and sister-in-law. You guys always make me so, feel so loved and welcome whenever I'm with you. Megan, oh my word. We've been through everything from laughing till we're on the floor to crying over who knows what. You've been like a sister to me and have been one of my best friends from the beginning. I can't wait to be with you at Southern. Tara, even though we haven't been that close, we have that sisterly bond that won't be broken. I will never forget singing Two Step Around the Christmas Tree with you for Granddad and when you offered to move the mountains to get me to go to banquet. Growing up, you inspired me to become a nurse, and I love you so much. Josh, thank you for always being my goofy brother. Thank you for teasing me and surprising me with coffee or candy bar just because. Mrs. Jeske, thank you for being the best boss and friend. Working for and with you has been so much fun. You've shown me how to work with deadlines, be reliable, and not to stress out too much. Thank you for always taking time out of your day to talk with me or to go to lunch. You also help to fuel my creativity with all the crafty projects that we talk about. Principal Watkins, thank you for showing me what a servant leader is. Thank you for always having your door open to ask questions, get advice, or to catch up. You don't know how much I will miss telling you whether or not I like your fit. You are a great role model for this school, and I thank you for teaching me that not all leaders have titles. And to all my friends and teachers through the years, each of you has taught me something and been there when I needed it. I appreciate and love each one of you. Can the fellow wing people please stand? <clears throat> Dad, mom, uh, my sister, Mr. Alvarez, Mrs. Alvarez, Mr. Severance and Mrs. Severance, Granny and Grandpa, um, Mrs. Lopez and Mr. Lopez, uh, Dean Jen, Mrs. Johnson, Pastor Will, Adriel, um, Brooklyn, Caroline, Rebecca, and Mr. Watkins. Being here is a miracle and a blessing. That I'm standing here only means that it is God's plan for my life. Looking back, I see how I couldn't have done this without the help of so many people. First, I really want to thank my parents. <laughs> Can you believe it? After 18 years, I'm finally graduating. Dad and Mom, I love you very much, and I admire you very much for all the things you have taught me, for what you have given me, and for the love I have received from you. I admire you, Dad, for your character. I learned from you not to let feelings toss you around in life. It is better to stay calm and reflect on what to do next time. I admire you too, Mom. You have shown me what it really means to sacrifice oneself for your children. You gave up your work to spend more time with us. And you were and still are a constant encouragement to do things right and better. You taught me not to try to salir con un chorro de babas or how I can never accept mediocrity. And although I may not achieve these expectations all the time, they are something I aspire to achieve. Thank you for expecting more of me. Dad, Mom, I would not be able to be here if it weren't for your courage to send me to another country out of the desire for me to learn English and have more opportunities to achieve success. I love you so much. Also, I want to thank my sister, also known as Mora, who has been the support I need in this strange land you helped me when I came to the United States. It was easier for me because she was the one who had already walked through the unknown and left a path behind her that I could follow. My sister taught me how to behave in public, character, and independence. That's why I tell you thank you. I also want to thank Mr. Alvarez and his wife who welcomed me here like a son when I arrived at Highland Academy and had a great influence on my stay here. Without him, I wouldn't be here. 
I also want to thank Granny and Grandpa because they are like my family away from home. Never had anyone other than my parents care so much for me to buy so many things during Christmas. I'm still blown away. I must say that with them, it was the first time that I experienced a true American Christmas. Thank you for your love. I also want to thank the Severance family for their love and care toward me, for allowing me to stay in their home during breaks, and for being a big influence in allowing me to go to the mission trip to Nicaragua. I had a great time. More people I would like to mention, but there is no time. I've been so blessed. I cannot forget what people have done for me to receive these blessings. Will the following people please stand? Mommy, Solomon, Buella, Auntie Joan, Mr. Modest, JP, Dean Jen, Dean Sarah, Miss Lopez, Miss Kuntz, Mr. Alvarez, Mr. Fuller, the Ashcrafts, Lucy, Alina, and Ayana, Zion, um, Mrs., uh, Mrs. Heather, Sam, and Callian, Rebecca, and Carly. There are no words to describe how much I love you, Mommy. I genuinely see your care for me and your commitment to sending me to a Christian school. It is your spirit of persistence and never giving up that inspires me to live my life the way you do. I will always be your Estercita. I could not have asked for a better dad than Papi. He represented a Christ-like character that I will never forget. From teaching us to fish to sharing his adventures in Antigua as a kid, he will always positively influence me. Solomon, for the advice and support you gave me, thank you. Growing up together, we've experienced so much, but now we're headed in different directions. I know I can always count on you if I need a friend to talk to. Grandma and Abuela, from the deep conversations to the laughs, I will remember your guidance and life advice. You both encouraged my connection with Christ and made me cherish my life more. Miss B, for the skills you taught me in elementary school and for caring about me outside of class, thank you. You've been a blessing to my and my family. From JP helping me with my sleep schedule to Dean Jen with my bruised knee, you've both shown me perseverance and patience. I am glad I had the opportunity to work alongside you. Ms. Lopez and Ms. Kuntz, I've learned so much through your teaching. Your cheerful attitude and willingness to help matter to me. If I ever become a teacher, I want to be like you. Ms. Watkins, you've shown me kindness and treated me like a daughter. God used you to show me that I can believe in prayer and I thank you for that. Mr. Hallam, your dedication and love for students has shown me how much you value Highland as a whole. For your outstanding example as a teacher, thank you. Mr. Alvarez, for your continuous support and encouragement of Highland students' musical talent, thank you. Mr. Fuller, for your patience with Daniel and Juan and me is outstanding. For the time you sacrificed to help us develop our skills, thank you. Mr. and Mrs. Ashcraft, your kindness, diligence, work, and care for students at Highland matter to me. For the rest of all the staff who have helped me in my academic and spiritual journey, thank you. Lucy, Alina, and Ayana, you've shared precious memories with me, ones I won't forget. From our deep conversations to the laughs that have, have me on the floor, thank you. You've stuck with me even when I've given you a hard time and have improved my days. Carly, Tanya, Chelsea, Alliance, Sam, Callian, Rebecca, Jeremy, Daniel, and Zion, thank you for the fun and meaningful memories. Highland, thank you for supporting my family. I want to share God with others the way you've shared it with me, through your characters. For the individuals that I have not mentioned, I want you to know that you are just as special to me as any of these people are. If it were not for you, I would not be here saying this. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Will the following people please stand? Mom, Dad, Nate, my grandparents, Aunt Stacy and Uncle Barrett, my faculty parents, Dean Jen, Dean Sarah, JP, Dean Easner, Coach Rogers, Rebecca, Esther, Lily, Callian, Ihana, Johanna, um, Lydia, and Alina. Um, and last but not least, some, my El Misco buddy, Samantha. Graduation is here. I'm so proud of all our class has accomplished. 
Mom, I don't know how you did it, but somehow you put up with me for 10 years, homeschooling and teaching me skills I will never forget. All the times I called you and accidentally woke you up, but you wanted to talk anyways. You support me and somehow know what I want to talk about, even if I can't find the words to say it myself. Dad, thanks for teaching me how to do things like mow, ride four-wheelers, do drywall, and ultimately been there for me in making sure I feel special and loved. The small things like cleaning the kitchen after I made a disaster or filling my car with gas really means a lot to me. Nate, you're the best brother a sister could ask for. It's so hard being away from you all the time, but coming home and getting a big hug from you and spending time together is something I am always looking forward to. I love how you like to surprise your sister and do things with me like learn a song with me on the piano even though it may not be your favorite thing to do. I would also like to thank my deans. Dean Sarah, you played a big impact on my life coming to Highland by being like a second mom to me and helping me to adjust to the changes coming here my junior year. JP and Dean Jen, it was so fun to work with you this year. I saw Jesus and learned how important patience is through both of you. I'll miss you so much. Esther, from singing countless hours together, laughing and deep conversations, having you as a friend has been a blast. Willie, from being the first person I saw back at school this year, hanging out together, going on runs, making breakfast together, and being RAs together has been so much fun. Rebecca, from late night overnight oats talks to pushing each other in gymnastics, having you as a friend has been a blast. Can't wait to go to college together. Tanya, you have such a drive for God, and working with you I have seen your patience you show through others. Thanks for being a friend. Callan, you are such a blessing to be around. I'm so glad to have been able to spend time with you and getting to know you. I will miss seeing you every day. I would like to thank my grandparents. Grammy and Grampy, thank you for the countless hours you spent with me growing up and the love and support you have shown me. Even though she is not here anymore, I'd like to thank my Grana. She always had the best of me and encouraged me to pursue my dreams and sing my heart out. I would also like to thank all my aunts and uncles who have always been there for me to encourage and support me. And Stacey and Uncle Barrett, thank you for always being so loving, welcoming, and supporting to me. I appreciate it more than you know. My faculty parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ashcraft. From the first event we had as a faculty family, I felt loved and welcomed for your home. Thank you so much. I'll miss you both. Coach Roger, thank you for the positive, encouraging atmosphere you bring to Highland Gym Mix. You helped me push through a lot of my fears in gymnastics by encouraging me to give it my all, and I will miss having you as my coach. I wish I had enough time to thank all my friends, but I want to know that I appreciate you and all the time we have spent together. And last but not least, God. Without you, it wouldn't have been possible. Will the following people please stand? Mom, Dad, Thea, Carlos, Missy, Justin, Nate, and Kay, Erika, Trent, Andrew, Miss Lopez, Mr. Hallam, Mr. Alvarez and Miss Alvarez, Miss Jill, Mr. and Mr. Um, Mrs. Ashcraft, Dean JP, Dean Jen, Dean Sarah, Pastor Will, Lucy, Esther, Ayana, Abby, Alexis, and Rachel. I want to first thank God for getting me through everything and for always being there for me all, when all else failed. My greatest support in life has always been my mom. I love you, Mama, with all my heart. Thank you endlessly for all your unconditional love and support you've given me and for being my greatest friend. I couldn't do this life without you. You're endlessly special to me. I could never thank you enough for being my mom. You are my constant inspiration day in and day out. I would be lucky if I could even be half of the woman you are today. My dad is the most wonderful person I have met. I love you endlessly, Papi. I love that you can always make me laugh and always encourage me to not give up and to think on things that are lovely and of good report. I love you with all my heart. I couldn't ask for a more amazing dad, and I'm endlessly proud to tell everyone how grateful I am to be your daughter. I want to thank my brother, though he's far away in a foreign country. I want to say thank you for being there and making my childhood memories unforgettable. I look up to you, Elias, and I hope to one day be as strong and brave as you are. I love you very much. My most honorable mention is my wonderful grandma, who in God is sleeping right now. I want you all to know how truly wonderful she was and what an impact she had on my life. My grandma was like my second mom. I learned so much from her, but she really showed me what it is to be loved and what a true, real relationship with God looks like. 
My grandma showed all of this through everything she ever did. She was the most beautiful and strong woman I have ever met, and still to this day is someone that continues to inspire me with her strength and beautiful love that she showed to all of us. Next is my beautiful aunt. I want to thank you, Thea, for everything you have done for me and for always treating me with such kindness and love. Thank you for being in my earliest memories of life. They were beautiful, and I'll cherish those memories forever. I pray that God continues to bless you immensely. I want to thank my cousin Missy for being in my life and her ability to be strong and a beautiful woman pushes me further to strive for those same qualities. I pray that God blesses you and Justin, Nate, and Kay always and forever. To my beautiful cousin, inside and out, I want to thank you so much for all you do for me, Erika. You're like my big sister and I want to thank you for always being someone I can turn to and trust. You're a very special person. I love you so, so much. You are always my inspiration. And I also want to thank Trent for everything as well. God bless you and little Andrew immensely always. May the following people please stand up. Mom and Dad, Miss Jennifer, Elena, Callian, Lydia, Miss Yaritza, Mr. Alvarez, Mrs. Alvarez, Pastor Will, Principal Watkins, Sue Merce, or Dean Rogers, Pastor Benji, and Los Cafeteros. Finishing high school has been longer than it should have been if I had stayed in Colombia instead of coming to study in America. Still, it has been an experience I wouldn't change for anything. At the same time, it has allowed me to meet wonderful people for which I am really grateful for. To start, I'm thankful to my parents. They always supported me in coming to study in America, and they were the ones that did all the paperwork needed for me to come here. I wouldn't be graduating here right now if it weren't for them. I like the motivation to fill out forms and call different places to make appointments but I'm glad they didn't. I want to thank Miss Jennifer, Callian, Selena, and Lydia for being like my second family, or as I like to call them, my American family. They have been a blessing to me, not only in helping me to improve my English by teaching me new words or correcting my grammar whenever I would say something wrong, but also for practically adopting me and taking care of me with so much kindness. Thank you for letting me sleep on your couch during home week and for all the fun things we enjoy together, just like hiking, baking, or playing in the snow. As somebody that made it possible for me to be here at Highland, I'm grateful to Mr. Alvarez, who was the person that took the risk of bringing some of my friends and me to the school. We hope he does not regret it. Thanks to the deans, Rogers, and Redding for their leadership in the dorm and their time listening to me. Even when our meetings would last longer than my energy levels, I still appreciate the conversations and sharing of opinions, especially in spiritual aspects. I learn a lot from both of you. And to finish, I'm thankful to the general staff for doing their best to show Jesus and for the opportunities offered in the school to build our own relationship with him. Ma Following people, is please stand up. Mom, Dad, Michael, Christian, Dean Rogers, Dean Redding, Mr. and Mrs. Watkins, Dean JP, Mr. Matthews. The opportunities offered in the school to build our own relationship with him. Mom and Dad, my gratitude towards you is timeless. My understanding of you both goes hand in hand with my love. Your tireless and endearing endeavors to get me where I am today inspires me. You guys' presence cheering me on tugs on my heart. I've witnessed the powers at be put in blood, sweat, and tears towards watching me succeed and how I yearn to make you proud. Michael, as I stand here today graduating from Highland, I am filled with a mixture of emotions. On one hand, I am incredibly proud of all that I have accomplished. And on the other hand, I am aware that this is just the beginning of my journey. 
As I move forward into the next chapter of my life, I want to take a moment to pass the torch to you. Growing up, you looked up to me as your older sibling, and I have always tried to lead by example. Now, as you continue your own academic and personal journey, I want to pass the torch to you. I want you to know that you are more than capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. Christian, growing up, you are my first teacher, my first friend, and my first hero. You have always inspired me to be the best version of myself, and your belief in me has given me the confidence to pursue my dreams. As I prepare to take the next steps in my life, I know that I will face new challenges and obstacles, but I also know that I have you by my side, ready to offer your support, encouragement, and guidance whenever I need it. You have been a constant source of inspiration, and I am proud to call you my older brother. And for my deans, Dean Rogers, you have been a friend, but not only that, but you have always been there with me. And uh, I like hanging out with you as well and doing some farm work. And Dean Redding, also, you've been there all for me these two years, and you're a good friend, and I thank you for that. And finally, uh, I want to thank my Wampas. You know who you are, and I'm so thankful for you all. And also, I want to thank all the staff here at Highland Academy that's made everything possible for me to be here. Would the following please stand? Mom, Dad, the Masseys, the Stewarts, the Bridges, um, the Armantrouts, all of them, Seth, the Schmitz, the Stricklands, Maddie, Brooklyn, Jackson, Bailey, Juan, Fernando, Ian, Houston, Diego, Lincoln, Chelsea, Alliance, Sarah, Wade, Mr. Helm, Mrs. Lopez, Mrs. Thomas, Captain Rogers, um, Dean Redding, Mr. Alvarez, the Ashcrafts, the Watkins family, the Mathesis family, Mrs. Anita, Sa Miss Sandy, the Lebrenzes, Mrs. Wilson, Mr. Keener, Mr. Johnson, Mrs. Rupert, and Mr. Albert. Dear mom and dad, I don't know how to say thank you enough. Mom, your dedication and your hard work inspires me endlessly. daddy -o, the way you stepped up to be my father when you didn't have to proves that you're the best. You guys have worked so hard for me to consistently stay in Adventist education, and it has truly paid off. Cheyenne and Charlene, I am so lucky God put you in my life, and I can't wait to see you guys grow up. Grampy, I can always count on you to be my biggest support and your endless amount of love. The Masseys, you have always been there for me no matter what, and you have shown me so much love. I'm so lucky to call you family. The Stewarts, I admire and love you guys so much. You always know how to make me smile and how to have fun. The Armantrouts, you guys are amazing. You guys always are showing your support and love. Miss A and Micah, you guys have always been your home to me in Brooklyn and are always there for me. I have so much appreciation and love for you. The Bridges family, before I even became a Bridges, you guys have shown me so much love and acceptance. I'm so glad I'm part of your family. Bailey, who would have known that a friendship formed from Algebra 1 would turn into this? I'll miss you so much next year. Brooklyn, it's crazy that even in kindergarten we were best friends and now we're finishing high school as best friends. I don't know what I'm going to do without you in college. Madison, ever since freshman year I knew we were going to be friends for a while. I'm so excited to make any good memories in college. Jackson, you have been a great Paris partner but even a better friend. You are someone who I can always count on to care. The Schmidt, you guys have become so important in my life, always letting me come over whenever I need it. To PW, I admire your dedication and hard work for our school and the relationships you create. You are the best principal ever. Sarah, you took a chance on a newbie with horses and I hope I didn't disappoint. You are a fantastic boss. Wade, your consistent jokes and hard work is what I'm gonna miss along with our morning meetings. Ms. Lopez, ever since freshman year, you have always been someone I can talk to and express my opinion to. You are one of the best teachers I have had. Mrs. Thomas, you have always been someone that I am able to see a friend in. You are always willing to listen and care and not to judge. Mr. Helm, you are so wise and I appreciated all of our chats and advice you have shared. Double R, you have been an amazing coach. Your loud laughs and endless jokes have created a lasting impression of you. I'd also like to thank every teacher who has helped me get to this point. You have made a huge impact on me. You guys have not only been my teachers, but friends. I appreciate everyone who has donated to any of my mission trips. You are the reason I have been able to go and spread God's love in a unique way. And to every single one of my friends, I might be on a time crunch, but you guys have made these last four years the best. And to anyone I didn't mention that has come here to support me, I am beyond grateful. And finally, to God, you are the reason I'm here, and I'll never be able to thank you enough.
Will the following people please stand? Dad, Mom, Bradley, Brant, Ben, Jessica, Audrey, Dean Rogers, Dean Redding, Mr. Watkins, uh, JP, and Mr. Mathis. Mom and Dad, as I approach the moment of walking across the stage to receive my diploma, my heart is filled with gratitude and reflection on the unwavering love, support, and sacrifices that you both have made for me throughout my academic journey. From the very start, you instilled in me a passion for learning, with Dad guiding me in carpentry and woodworking from a young age, and Mom involving me in her daily tasks like running errands and preparing home-cooked meals. Your unwavering commitment to helping me achieve success has instilled a determined spirit within me. And above all, you've taught me the importance of always striving to do my best, no matter the circumstances. I will never forget the long nights you spent helping me with whatever I needed, the countless hours you dedicated to attending school events, and the unwavering belief you had in me, even when I may have doubted myself. Your unconditional love and encouragement have been the foundation of my success, and I am eternally grateful for everything you've done for me. You are both my biggest role models. To all my brothers, thank you for the paving the way and being great examples of how to learn and work. Growing up, we all may have not got along at all times. But as we have grown older, I think we've all learned to appreciate each other's unique presence, and our bond has only grown stronger. You have each inspired me in different ways, and I am grateful for the lessons we have learned together as siblings, shaping us into the individuals we are today. Thank you for being a constant source of support, love, and camaraderie throughout the years, and for showing me the true meaning of family. To my deans, when someone leaves their home and their parents, they often seek out individuals to fill the roles of trusted figures whom they look up to. For me, those figures were my deans, Dean Rogers and Dean Redding. Throughout my time in high school and into the future, they will continue to be individuals whom I aspire to emulate. Their actions exemplify love and a life that is guided by Jesus. To all my friends and staff members, thank you for making my high school experience one I will not forget. Whether you were across the hall in the dorm, someone in my class, or one of the many people who make up the school's enrollment, thank you to everyone who helped to make these four years fun and memorable. Your friendship has meant the world to me and it has enriched my high school years in countless ways. I will treasure the memories we've made together and carry them with me as I embark on the next chapter of my life. evening church <laughs> so all of us standing here is actually a miracle that we didn't foresee like months ago and that's actually happening here it's really nice so today we're going to be singing one song this is all because of samuel's mom she wanted to ask all the parents to sing so i hope you're blessed and there are lyrics and we're gonna sing in spanish um there are lyrics translation in english for you guys to understand Thank you. Mi roca no resbalaré, es mi roca. 
refugio por siempre. Mi salvación solo viene de Él. Solo en mi Dios confiaré. May the following people please stand. Mom, Dad, Roderick, Jana, and Mr. Watkins. To make these four years fun and memorable. Good job. I look forward to those days when you come home from a long trip. It's a hall in the dorm. Someone in my class, or one of the many people who make up the school's and showing me what it's like to be a follower of Jesus. Mom, thank you for being there for me every single day, even when you're wearing a job. I look forward to those days when you come home from a long trip and we can hug and talk, catching up on all the drama that's happened while you're away. Dad, thank you for being my best friend, the one person I could come to when I needed advice or help with something going on in my life, or when I'm having trouble with a friendship or a relationship, you have always been there for me. I have always looked up to you and watched you growing up, taking notes and learning what it means to be a man in today's world from you. You and mom have always set a good example for me and I love you both. Roderick, thank you for being my little brother. I know I haven't been the best influence on you and I bug you and make fun of you from time to time, but I love you and I couldn't ask for a better little brother. I would like to thank my parents, James and Will the following people please stand? James and Kathy Duncan, my grandmother Carolyn, uh, Karen and Dave Sharp, Chris Crutcher, um, Ken Hallam, Willa Brenz, Christine Thomas, Vern Sherman, Melissa Wiesner, Bestie Steve Rogers, Andy Wade, Lily Lopez, Daniel Stringfellow, Brandon Patton, Alexander Nadia Babulovich, Tristan Nauman, and TJ Brantley. 
Kathy Duncan for helping me throughout my life and helping with homeschool for years and helping me when I moved to Highland. I couldn't ask for better parents. I would like to thank my extended family. Thank you, Carolyn, Andrea, John, Anson, and Julia Duncan for supporting me and just being there in my life. I would also like to thank Dave, Karen, and Reese Sharp for helping me decide what I want to do with my future and for helping me decide to go to the Southern. I want to also thank Mark and Priscilla and their kids, Rebecca, Josiah, and Levi for helping me and being like a second family. I would also like to thank all of the teachers for helping me through my three years of attending Highland. Thank you for all the memories and I've enjoyed all of your classes. I would also like to thank my Highland friends for putting up with me for these years and just for being my friends. I would like to thank Link, I mean Daniel Stringfellow, Shrimpy, also known as Alexander Bulovich. Next, the one and only TJ. I salute Texas Bill, also known as Brandon Patton, Curtis, and Tristan. May the following people please stand. Mom, Dad, Delphine, Bertine, Dean JP, Dean Jane, Mrs. Lopez, Mr. Hallam, Dean Sarah, Adriel, Alex, Daniela, Brooklyn, Caroline, Chelsea, Maddie, and Ayana. Uri mama inshuti yanjye magara ni gitare cyanjye warakoze kuvyo wankoreye vyose ndagukunda cyane nahoraga nkubaha cyane mama kuruta abandi warakoze kunyigisha icyo bisobanura kuba umuntu mwiza n'uburyo bwo kubaho ubuzima bufite intego warakoze cyane papa ku kuba uri umuntu witanga wanyigishije byinshi kandi umpindura umuntu wondi wo kuri muzi ndagukunda cyane papa buri gihe wabaye nkingi y'ubuzima bwanjye sinigeze mbona burira mu bihe by'umwijima mu buzima bwawe Bertine I just couldn't understand how you could ever love someone who honors you 24/7 you are the best brother so understanding and friendly i know you will forever remain the same. Thank you for your support. Delphine, the support, the care, and the love you have given giving me cannot go unnoticed. Thank you. Adolf, thanks for being the person who I always say, let's see what, how can we fix this instead of I told you so. Ms. Lopez, I can't thank you enough for all that you have done for me this year. I have learned so much thanks to your hard work and dedication. Mr. Hallam, thank you for being one of the best teacher at Highland. I love the stories you I was telling class. Thank you for being understanding and helping me improve my English skill. Thank you, friends, for adding a moment of happiness to my life. Thank you for being the shoulder that I can always lean on. May the following people stand, please. Let me get the list. Um, Mama, Papa, uh, Mrs. Rufo, Mr. Alvarez, Mr. Hallam, Dean Wisner, Katie, Brooklyn, Dean Jen, Mr. Sherman, Dean Rogers, Dean Redding, and Pastor Rogers. On this particular day, I must thank all of those who made this moment possible. My excellent teachers who were always there regardless of the difficulties and challenges. First, thank you to Mr. Alvarez who contacted my parents. I still remember when I came to Academy Days and he told me at the end of the event, if you want to come, you'll be able to. From that day on, I contacted him to complete the enrollment process, which is how I began my story at Highland Academy. During this school year, I've had the opportunity to meet new people, learn many things and have the chance to meet God. I will never forget those good times I had in class, like Mr. Hallam's class, where we could talk about our day or our concerns, or the exciting and sometimes difficult to understand mathematics of Mr. Ashcraft, who would take time out of every day to come to the dormitory and help us complete the homework. I also want to express my gratitude to Dean Rogers and Dean Redding, who were always there for me. I remember going into the Dean's office and telling them my concerns about college and my future. Also, Mrs. Wisner class provided us with tools for our life in college along with our personal finance and economic class. To all my teachers, I want to say thank you very much. To my friends for always making me smile, 
Broken and Caroline. Because since I met them in academy days, they have always been very good friends with me. To Lily and Johanna for the laughs and good times. To guys like Sam and Ben Fernandez, Justin, Connor, and of course my Colombian friends. And clearly to a super particular person who has supported me at all times. A person whom I appreciate very much and whose company makes me happy. And this person is Katie McConnell. Last but not least, I would like to thank my parents who have always supported me, sending me here to learn a new language and to achieve my goals. They are my inspiration to keep going. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, mom and dad. And of course, to God, because it has not been easy. I have had moments in which I felt that I couldn't take it anymore, but he has always been there to give me strength. To him and all of you, thank you so much. May the following people stand up. Papa, Mama, Hermano, Mr. Alvarez and Mrs. Alvarez, Dean Jen, Coach Redding, Coach Rogers, Mr. Ashcraft, Pastor Roger, Pastor Will, Principal Watkins, Mr. Sherman, Mr. Hallam, Mr. Johnson, Los Cafeteros, Jeremy, uh, Esther, Carly, Rebecca, Kellyan, Katie, Sam, and Ben. Greetings, principal, teachers, family, and colleagues. It is hard to believe that this Highland experience is ending, that another stage of our path in life has passed in front of us with such speed as if we were in elementary school yesterday, and that what we started with expectations and nerves, full of energy and inexperience, ends today, right now, in memories, laughter, and life lessons. I learned everything had time, and resisting that will not slow it down. Although some of the steps taken along the way are imperfect, the results reflect the effort. That the wisdom comes from above. If we are willing, we will get it in time. We don't live moments like this the same way twice. So, comrades, look around you, smile and remember. It will pass in a matter of minutes. Sooner than we expect, we will start another stage. I'm excited to have achieved this achievement. And I thank to my mother for her unconditional love. To my father for his support and his advice. To Mr. Alvarez for his music and the opportunity he gave me to come here. To Mr. Astra for his math and Mr. Hallam for his literature. To Pastor Will for his Bible lessons and Pastor Roger for his history and economics. I want to thank the creator of the universe for being present in every experience I have lived. And I know he is present here and now. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Saludos, directores, maestros, familiares y colegas. Es difícil creer que esta experiencia de Highland esté terminando. Esta etapa de nuestro camino en la vida ha pasado frente a nosotros con tanta velocidad como si estuviéramos en la escuela primaria ayer. Y esto que comenzó con expectativas, nervios, llenos de energía e inexperiencia, termina hoy, en este momento, en recuerdos, risas y lecciones de vida. Aprendí que todo tiene su tiempo y resistirme no lo hará más lento. Aunque algunos de los pasos tomados en el camino son imperfectos, el resultado refleja el esfuerzo. Que la sabiduría proviene de arriba... Estamos dispuestos y si lo queremos, lo conseguiremos a tiempo. No vivimos momentos como estos de la misma manera dos veces, por lo que camaradas, miren a su alrededor, sonrían y recuerden, pasará en cuestión de minutos y antes de lo que esperen, comenzaremos otra etapa. Estoy emocionado por haber alcanzado este logro y agradezco a mi madre por su amor incondicional, a mi padre por su apoyo y consejo, al Mr. Álvarez por su música y la oportunidad que me dio de venir aquí a Highland al profe Mr. Ashcraft por sus matemáticas, y al profe Mr. Hallam por su literatura, al pastor Will por sus lecciones bíblicas, y al pastor Rogers por su historia y economía. Quiero agradecer al Creador del Universo por estar presente en esta experiencia que he vivido, y sé que está presente aquí y ahora. Que la gracia de nuestro Señor Jesucristo esté con todos ustedes. Amén. Will the following people please stand? Mom, Dad, my brother Benjamin, Alex, Nadia, Grammy, Auntie Jolie, Uncle Jovan, Principal Watkins, Mrs. Lopez, Mrs. Stephanie Thornton, Johanna, Hannah Loudon, Jomi, Juan, Santiago, Ethan Walt, Mr. Hillebolt, and Pastor Wajo. Thank you, Mom, for being an incredible, godly example in my life.
and thank you, Dad, for having fun with the family and always providing, even when it's not easy. Thank you, Benjamin, for being an awesome brother. Thank you, Alex and Nadia, for being great cousins. Thank you, Grammy, Auntie Jolie, and Uncle Jovan for being such a loving family towards me and being easy to talk to. I would also like to thank my grandpa for being an amazing grandpa, even though he cannot make it to graduation today. Thank you, Principal Watkins, for showing what a true servant leader looks like. Thank you, Mrs. Lopez, for being someone that is so easy to talk to and for being such a godly example in my life. Thank you, Miss Stephanie, for always helping me with the meals and for being easy to talk to. Thank you, Johanna and Haina, for all the memories these past four years. Thank you, Savannah, Jack, and Tanya, for being a part of my high school experience and my experience even before high school. Thank you, Jomi and Curtis, for the nightly prayers together and for the deep and spiritual conversations. Thank you, Juan, for inspiring me to get closer to God and for being a great brother in Christ. Will the following people please stand? Mom, Gary, Dad, Laura, Chana, Grandma and Grandpa, Randy, Brandon, Miss Madam Warren, Pastor Will, and Miss Lopez. Mom, if it wasn't for you, I would not be where I am today, and I thank you for that. Thank you for putting me in a Christian school and for always making sure I was taken care of. You've supported me throughout my whole life, and I will forever be grateful. Thank you for adopting me and being the best mom anyone could ask for. You're always there when I need you. I love you. And Gary, thank you for coming to my mom's life and making her happy. You really put a smile on her face. I'm glad she could be part of the family. Dad, thank you for supporting me and for telling me I could be whoever I wanted to be in life. I've loved all the trips you take us on. Thank you for providing a safe household for me to live in for being my dad. I love you. Laura, thank you for treating me like I was one of your own daughters, always taking me shopping and the car talks we have. Thank you for supporting me and always planning fun things to do. I love you. Cruz, I never thought I'd have a little brother to watch grow up, but I'm glad I do. You're fun to be with, and I've loved being your big sister. I love you. Chana, I'm so thankful that you were my little sister. I'm glad I did not have to grow up alone. All the adventures and memories we have together, I'll forever cherish in my heart. Even though we bicker like any other siblings would, I love and care about you. Grandma and Grandpa, thank you for being the best grandparents I could ask for. You've always made me feel like I'm capable of anything. Grandma, thank you for teaching me how to bake and cook and for your consistent words of encouragement when you text me each morning. Grandpa, I will never forget the many important lessons you've taught me, including me telling me always to think. I always will. You both have given me so many memories I will never forget. I truly see Jesus in you both. I love you, Grandma and Grandpa. Randy, thank you for always knowing how to put a smile on my face and never failing to teach me a joke. Thank you for caring about me. You're a really great uncle. Love you. Brandon, thank you for not only being my boyfriend, but my best friend. I really miss you not being here this school year, but I appreciate how much you've been involved, like helping me with homework, bringing me food, and going to banquet with me. I appreciate you and your family so much for all the times you've taken me off campus. Thank you for challenging me to be the best I can be and always being here for me. I love you. Ms. Meta and Warren, thank you for loving me and always being there for me. I love spending time with you guys. Thank you for taking us on beach trips. It is always so much fun. I have many memories. Thank you for supporting me and caring. I love you both. Pastor Will, thank you for the memories we have together and being here for me throughout my high school experience. And being related isn't so bad either. Mrs. Lopez, thank you for all the meaningful talks we've had and I'm thankful for our friendship. Thank you for caring about me and how I learn and for also setting a safe environment for me to be around, especially in the classroom. And last but not least, all my friends and classmates, I'll never forget all the memories I have with you all. You all mean a lot to me, and thank you for making my high school experience worth it. Will the people please stand? Dean JP, Dean Jen, um, my sister, Zion, Esther, Elena, Ayana, 
Mrs. Redding, Mrs. Kuntz, and Mr. Hallam. First of all, I want to give my biggest thanks to my beautiful mom because even though she couldn't make it today, without her, I wouldn't have been able to make it this far. I was 14 years old when I first came to the U.S. and I was very homesick. It was hard to get used to being so far away from her. I appreciate all of my mom's hard work and all these opportunities that she opened for me and for raising me as her daughter. 어렸을 때는 제일 봐야 안 들었던 둘째 딸이 이렇게 미국에서 고등학교를 졸업하게 됐어. 큰 기회를 줘서 고맙고 앞으로도 더 열심히 공부하면서 즐거운 대학 생활을 보내도록 할게. 아직도 엄마가 힘을 조금 써야 되지만 내가 꼭 성공돼서 우리 계속 행복하게 살자. 엄마 둘째 딸 루리가 항상 사랑해요. Also, I want to appreciate my girls Ayana, Esther, and Elena. Thank you for all the memories that we made together. All the Highland staff, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to be a student at Highland Academy. It was a huge step for me to have a different education and a new experience. I want to thank Mrs. Flint. I met her at Harbor Hills Academy when I started out as a freshman, and because she was there, she taught me how to be patient and love others. I want to appreciate her as well. May she rest in peace. And for my sister, thank you for coming today. When I would have difficult times at school, you would always give me a lot of encouragement and comfort. 이제 다 졸업했으니까 많이 놀자. 사랑해. Last but not least, I would like to thank Zion. 너 덕분에 내 고등학 생활이 엄청 즐거웠고, 또너 덕분에 배운 것도 많았고, 너랑 같이 보냈던 사소한 날들이 나한테는 엄청 행복이었어. 또 내가 이제 졸업하고 너 옆에는 없지만 나한테 너가 행복하고 잘 있으면 좋겠어. 너를 사랑할 수 있어서 기뻤고 너한테 사랑을 배울 수 있어서 행복해. 내 첫사랑이 너라서 정말 다행이야. 아무튼 너도 이제 마지막 1년 후회하지 않게 즐겁게 불태웠으면 좋겠어. 지금까지 우리의 예쁜 추억을 같이 만들어줘서 고맙고 나 잊지 말아줘. 내가 많이 사랑했고 많이 보고 싶을 거야. Above all this, I want to be proud of myself because I finally made it here. But learning a new language, making new friends, working hard, all these things I couldn't have done without Christ. I want to be proud of myself. Moving to a college life is a big step. I know there will be a harder situation that come into my life, but I will always try to trust and believe myself to be successful and stay happy with God's help. Will the following people please stand? My family, Seth, my class, Callian, Mr. Hallam, Mr. Ashcraft, Mrs. Kuntz, Mrs. Lopez, Mr. and Mrs. Schmidt, Mrs. Thomas, Sajin, Izzy, Rachel, Alex, <laughs> Dean JP, Dean Jen, and Dean Sarah. I would like to start off by thanking my parents. You guys have supported me and helped me get this far. I'd also like to thank my family. I don't have time to name you all, but I'd especially like to name my grandma, who has always been there with wisdom and kindness, and my siblings, Rinna, Lily, and Jonathan. You guys are the best. My whole family has helped form me into the person I am today, and I am so appreciative of all of you. Next, I would like to thank my teachers, starting with Mrs. B and all the way up to my teachers at Highland. You have fostered a love for learning in me and always answered my questions. I would not be here on the stage without each and every one of your efforts combined. And even though they aren't all my teachers, this includes my deans, JP, Dean Jen, Dean Sarah, and Dean Wiesner, who have laughed, talked, prayed, and cried with me on many occasions. And to my fellow RAs, I could never have imagined how much fun it would be to work with you guys and how loved I would feel with such an awesome group by my side. I would also like to thank Seth, who has made me laugh on days when everything is going wrong and has been so supportive of me these past two years. Now, on to all of my friends, starting with Johanna. Since first grade, you have been my best friend, and I could not have asked for a better friend. Alex, you were my first friend I made at Highland, and the shenanigans have not stopped since. Callian, we have had some of the deepest, most heartfelt discussions, and I know I can always rely on you when I need to talk or need advice. 
There are so many more friends that I'd like to thank, but I simply do not have the time. All of you have played an important role in my life, even if all you did was smile at me in the hallways. You made my life so much brighter while I went to school here. I remember each and every one of you. May the following people please stand. My family, Mr. and Mrs. Watkins, Mr. and Mrs. Mattis, Mr. and Mrs. LeBrent, um, Mr. Wade, uh, Ms. Rufo, Mr. Sherman, Ms. Burns, Mrs. Alvarez, and the staff here at Highland, Acad Highland Academy. First, I would like to begin by thanking God for everything I am today is thanks to him. I would like to thank my mother for everything she's done for me, for loving, caring, and guiding me throughout my life. And to my father, I would like to say, Papa, te quiero. Gracias por todos los sacrificios que tú has hecho por nosotros, por amarnos, cuidarnos, y por siempre estar con nosotros. I would like to appreciate and thank my siblings, Kenneth, Diomedes, and Gendi. I love y'all. Y'all have guided me, encouraged me, and been there for me. I thank God every day for having y'all by my side. And to my grandmother, aunts, uncles, cousins, I want to thank y'all for everything y'all have done for me. Y'all are the best family I could ask for and I wouldn't have it any other way. I would like to thank the staff here at Highland Academy and my teachers in Bill Egley, Mrs. Wright and Mrs. Burns. I thank y'all for guiding me and teaching me to see Christian education and for teaching me what it is to implement God, not just in my studies, but to those around me. Last but not least, I would like to thank all my friends and classmates for everything. I thank y'all for being there for me through the highs and lows and for being friends I can always count on. May the following please stand. Miss Mandy, Kimberly Bridges, Miss Melanie, Pastor Clark, Miss, uh, wait. Sorry. Uh, Dean Sarah, Dean Wiesner, Ms. Ollinger, Ms. Stephanie Thornton, Ms. Heather, Ms. Anita Watkins, Mom and Dad, the McMurtry family, Nathaniel, Abby and Aaliyah, Micah, Orlando, Kinsey, Dean Jen, Dean JP, Coach Rogers, and Principal Watkins. Awana means family, and family means no one is left behind or forgotten. Thank you, Aunt Cheryl. You made my elementary event special, and here you are again. Sadly, not in person, but in our hearts. Miss Mandy, thanks for showing me that being normal is overrated. We remember the crazy moments, but mostly we remember the good ones. Thank you, Kimberly, for being my gymnastics and silks coach, but mostly for inspiring me to become closer with God. Thank you, Miss Melanie, for taking my brothers and I in when my mom was deployed to Iraq years ago. You've truly encouraged me and taught me how to work hard. Thank you to all the grandparents in my life from your loving hugs to fun stories. You've been proud of me no matter what, and without it, I would not have the courage to move forward. Pastor Clark, thank you for taking me in as your own and leading me to Christ. Thank you for baptizing me at the great camp meeting of 2014. Thank you, Pastor Greg, Miss Kim, Miss Melissa, and Miss Charlie, for helping me sharpen my skills and learn new things like team management and team building skills. I am joyful about my time and I will remember it forever. This is a place where one person, if it's the right person, changes us all. Thank you, Dean Sarah, Dean Wiesner, Dean JP, Dean Jin, Dean Wilson, Coach Rogers, my teachers, and Principal Watkins for encouraging me every step of the way. The girl from four years ago would be proud of herself because of you. Thank you, Ms. Ollander and Mr. Bob, for your patience and diligence. You were the first to teach me about life. You've impacted me more than you know, and you never gave up on me when I wanted to many times. I am thankful for my time as kitchen staff. Thank you so much, Ms. Stephanie, Ms. Heather, Ms. and Ms. Watkins, for the amazing job you have done running the kitchen and teaching students how to work hard daily. 
Thank you to my parents for encouraging and helping me with my walk with God and my future path. You're my rock, and no words can express how grateful I am. Thank you, McMurtries, for making me feel welcome and taking me in as your daughter. For all the last smiles and cries, I can always count on you to be there for me. Thank you, Nathaniel, for being my four-year school best friend. We've shared laughs, and you inspire me every day with your walk with God. Special thanks to my best friend, little Charlie. He taught me friends are everywhere, and friendships are extremely valuable. To my non and bio siblings, Taylor, Alex, Kinsey, Haley, Orlando, Aaliyah, Micah, Heather, Stormy, Caleb, Karis, Darley, Levi, Matias, Moses, Heather, Tori, Shelby, Ethan, Little Micah, Gabby, Giselle, Jasmine, Abby, Anna, Chassie, Lucy, and my nephew Swanson Wyatt. Thank you for encouraging me to pursue my dreams and teaching me that even things that start out as broken can end up beautiful with God's help. I guess we really are all in this together.
again. <laughs> okay, may the following people please stand. My parents, Grandma, Auntie Chrissy, Miss Lopez, Miss Kuntz, Mr. Hallam, Miss Redding, Miss Heather, Miss Watkins, Daniela, Alexandria, Alliance, Chelsea, 
Alina, Lucy, Esther, Carly, Fernando, Sam, Dean Jen, and Dean JP. <clears throat> but I'm so glad it did. Anyways, I would like to thank, first of all, my parents for everything they did to prepare me for high school and just living in general and encouraging me when school got rough to keep persevering. I would like to thank my siblings and all my other family members who came out to support me on this important day. Um, I would like to thank my supervisors in the kitchen for putting up with me. Even though work was hard, I still had a really great time. To those who encouraged me to finish my great club in a timely manner and in a very fun way, I'm very thankful to them that I was able to get my PE credits. I want to thank the teachers here at Highland Academy for taking time to make sure their students learn and also making classes like not boring. I would like to thank my friends in general who made my experience here much better. I would like to thank those in particular, the girls in the girls dorm. They have a lot of funny jokes and they make me laugh when I have a rough day. I'm really thankful to them. Thank you to my classmates who are honestly the best and made every day so meaningful. God bless you all. And last but not least, I would like to thank God for bringing me through these years of high school. I would have never made it without him. The following people, please stand. Juan, Caroline, Braden, Brooklyn, Justin, Tian, Ajana, Samuel, Da Fernandez, Lincoln, Carson, Bryson, Diego, Dean Rogers, Pastor Will, Principal Watkins, Solomon, Eldrick, Granny, Grandpa, Mama and Papa. Today is a day of great emotion and joy for me as I am here to graduate and celebrate the end of an essential stage in my life. However, I cannot let this opportunity pass without expressing my sincere thanks to two people who have been the pillars of my success, my parents. Since childhood, my parents have been a source of unconditional support and constant motivation at every step of my journey. Your love, dedication, and sacrifice have been the engine that has driven me forward in the most challenging moments and have allowed me to achieve my goals and, and dreams. First, I want to thank my mother for her tireless work in helping me achieve academic success. Since I was little, my mother taught me the importance of education and motivated me to study hard. I will never forget the nights we spent together studying for exams or when she helped me do projects for school. She has always been my role model, and her strength and perseverance have been a source of inspiration to me. I also want to thank my father for his unwavering support in all my decisions. He has always been there to listen to me, advise me, and encourage me to pursue my dreams, even when they seem impossible. His love and dedication to me have been invaluable and have given me the confidence to face any challenge. I cannot express enough gratitude for the support that they have given me this school year. I am genuinely grateful to have them with me this school year. In the moment, with the following people, please stand. Papa, Mama, Mr. Alvarez, Mrs. Alvarez, Ms. Rufo, Miyari, uh, Dean Redding, Dean Rogers, uh, Mr. Wade, uh, Pastor Will, Dean Jen, Mr. Watkins, Mrs. Watkins, Mr. Hallam, uh, Sam, Ben, Zion, Justin, um, Carson, uh, Bryson, um, Dominic, Fernando, uh, Rebecca, Esther, Lucy, Ayana, and Ms. Parceros, Colombia. Today, I want to thank everyone who has helped me through my journey in Highland and in life too. I want to start off by appreciating every teacher that has been there for me, as Mr. Ashcroft, that would always take some of his own time to come to the dorms after worship to help with any math problem, and Mr. Hallam that would always tell us the stories of his life to be the center of attention and would give us advice with this wisdom in his words. Also, Pastor Roger for his charisma and attitude in his classes, always with his critical thinking. I cannot forget Mrs. Wisner 
that would be a mom for all of us in class. For Mr. Johnson, that I would admire how careful he would be with his words. And last but not least, Mr. Alvarez, el profe, because without him and God, I probably wouldn't have been here in my last year. He helped me to come to Highland without me even asking. I admire his musical thinking and the time and effort he would put in every class for having the best presentations in churches and concerts. And I thank him for teaching me how real life is. To all my teachers, thank you. I have to continue with my friends, with the ones that have supported me in the good and bad times. I want to thank Mrs. Stephanie for being a second mom for me here at Highland. I want to thank Mr. Watson and Mrs. Watson for all the support they have given to all the Colombians. Big thank to you all. I thank my friends Justin, Ben, Sam, Connor, Dominic, Levi, Bryson, Jeremias, Zion, Solomon, Toby, Isaiah, Luke Henry, Fernando, and of course, Ms. Parcelos from Colombia, Jani, Danielin, Juancho, and Santi for the good times we had and the memories we created together. And I also want to thank Ayana, Esther, Lucy, Elena, Rebecca, Carolyn, Brooklyn, Sajin, Tanya, Kellyan, Carly, Lily, and Sophie for being good friends with me. I want to thank my family for all the support and motivation to continue in a foreign country. I am grateful for the parents I have who have always been there for me. For my mom and dad that I love and I am proud of, and also for my grandma and sister whom I miss a lot, and I hope to see them soon. For all of my family, thank you. Papi y mami, gracias por estar siempre apoyándome en todo lo que necesito y por criarme con esos valores que me han llevado a ser la persona que soy hoy. Los amo y los quiero por montones. I also want to thank the school for the opportunity to study here in my last year and to be able to graduate at Highland Academy. To all of you, thank you so much. Will the following people please stand? Mom, Dad, Sammy, Aunt Julie, and Uncle John, Nana, Caroline, Brooklyn, John Mark, Micah, Coach, and Coach Sandy. I'd like to start by saying that there are so many people I could thank tonight. Over the last four years, my family, friends, and teachers have helped me grow into the person I am today. I'm grateful for everyone who has been a part of my life, but I especially want to thank specific people who have been there for me unconditionally and have loved and supported me all these years. Mom, I can't even begin to describe how much I love you and how grateful I am for you. You've sacrificed so much for me and you are the woman I aspire to be. I definitely got my creative side from you and I love how much you enjoy listening to me rant about my favorite books, music, and literally everything else. You always know what to say and have an endless amount of patience for my hysterics. You are always there to talk to you after school and you are always so interested in whatever me, Brooklyn, and Caroline are rambling on about when we're making quesadillas for lunch on Fridays. I don't know what I would do without you, and I'm so thankful for all the ways you show me every day just how much you love me. Dad, you have yourself to thank for my snarky sarcasm. You always tell me that one day I'll grow up to be just like you, and I'm afraid you'll be right. You are where I got my competitive streak, my love for gymnastics, and my incessant need to one-up Sammy in everything. As the youngest siblings, we know how to stick together. In all seriousness, though, I couldn't ask for a better dad. You've taught me how to be determined and to always be looking for ways to improve. I will always remember our adventure Thursdays, our camping trips, and you teaching me how to drive, no matter how scary it might have been for you. No matter what challenge I face, you've always been right there, cheering me on. I love you and I'm so thankful that you're my dad. Sammy, turns out mom was right. You really are my built-in best friend. We've made so many memories together and I couldn't possibly name them all. Of course we grew up together, but for the last few years you've been my rock and I know I can depend on you for anything. I always look forward to our dairy cream runs and love how we never run out of things to talk about. You've taught me how to keep up with your never-ending jokes and I've accepted that you will always steal my food. I can't imagine growing up with anyone else and I will always keep trying to make you laugh as long as you keep trying to make me laugh. I love you and couldn't ask for a better brother. Aunt Julie and Uncle John, thank you for all the support and fun memories from all the nights we spent at your house to all the trips we've gone on together to all the crazy adventures we've shared. You guys have been so loving and generous with supporting Sammy and I for mission trips, the gymnastics team, and just school in general. But most importantly, thank you for being a great aunt and uncle. I love you guys. Nana, 
Thank you so much for everything you've done for me over the years. I always enjoy your visits and enjoy updating you with what's going on in school. Thank you for always supporting me with mission trips and coming to gymnast shows. I love listening to your stories and telling you mine. I am so thankful and grateful that you're my Nana. I love you. Uncle Robin, Uncle Rick, and Aunt Jane. Thank you for your support as well, from sending birthday and Christmas presents to coming to visit for Thanksgiving. Thank you for supporting my trips and for just being interested and for being a part of my life. I love you guys. Thank you so much. To my friends, thank you so much for all the fun memories we've made together. You guys have become like family to me, and I can't begin to describe how grateful I am for you. We've been through thick and thin together, and we've made each other better along the way. You guys have been such a crucial part of the last four years, and I can't imagine high school without you guys. I'm so excited to see what life brings us. I love you guys. To the faculty and staff, thank you for making my Highland experience so memorable. It's so obvious that you guys love what you do and that you love your students. Because of you, I will always be able to look back fondly on my high school years. Thank you for pushing me, not only with my academics, but also with my relationship with God. Thank you for preparing me for my next step in life. I'm so grateful for every one of you. Lastly, I want to thank God. He has been with me every step of the way and has blessed me with a great family, great friends, and a great school. He deserves all the glory for everything I've achieved and for everything I will become. I want to thank him above all else. Will the following people please stand? My family, Miss Stephanie, Miss Jean, Miss Heather, um, Lily, Nathaniel, Rena, Izzy, Callian, Dean JP, Dean Jen, and Dean Sarah. First, I'd like to thank my dad and my sister for always being there for me. You guys have always been there when I needed you, and you've always believed in me. I love you guys. Second, I'd like to thank my family, and especially like to thank my grandma for always being someone I can talk to. I really enjoyed the summers we spent together, and it always makes my day when I get a message from you. Next, I'd like to thank the people who are like family. Miss Stephanie, you have been like my mother here at Highland, and I will always remember you that way. Callian, you are one of my closest friends. I cherish the talks we've had and the, the Christ-like friend you've been. Last two. <clears throat> Next, I'd like to thank the people who are like family. Miss Stephanie, you have been like my mother here at Highland, and I always will remember you that way. Callian, you are my one of my closest friends. I cherish the talks we've had and the Christ-like friend you've been. Nathaniel, you truly have been like a brother to me. Thank you for always listening to me complain about my life and walking with me for Great Club. You always make me laugh even when I'm in a bad mood. Izzy, thanks for being an awesome roommate. I really enjoyed rooming with you and getting to know you better this year. Lily, my best friend, who's been with me since day one. I can't imagine life without you. You are the reason I'm here at Highland and the reason I am the person I am today. I can't wait for the next adventure we go on together. Can you read that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, Lily, my best friend who's been with me since day one. I can't imagine life without you. You are the reason I was here at Highland and the reason I am the person I am today. I can't wait for the next adventure we go on together. There are so many more people I could mention, but I'll just say thank you to all my friends. Each one of you holds a special place in my heart and I hope that we always stay connected. Lastly, to my fellow graduates, thank you for the memories. We might not all be friends, but you have all shaped my life one way or another. Will these people please stand? Mom, Dad, Marie, Daniel, Garrett, Grammy, Grandpa, and Chris, and Mr. Wade.
Mom, you've always been the most important woman in my life. From making delicious gourmet food to getting your hands dirty with me outside, you're always there for Daniel and I, regardless of the situation. I know raising us has not always been easy, but you have helped us along every step of the way. And without you, I would not have made it as far as I have. And I would not have set the goals and standards I have for myself without you. Thank you. I love you. Dad, you and I are so similar, yet so far apart. I would have never tried so hard at anything I did if it wasn't for you. I strive for your approval and respect because you've earned mine. You've taught me more lessons than most, from hunting to fishing to school and work. You have molded me into the hardworking man I am today. I have learned more from our late night talks and our down to earth discussions than you could possibly know. I may not say it a lot, but I want to thank you for me and my dad. I love you. Murray, you've always held my back in thick and thin. When the going gets tough, I know I can count on you to put a good word in for me. You've always held me to a proper standard, and by following it, I'm a better man for it. From picking us up from school and going to all of our ball games, I'm glad you have been someone who will always be there for us. Thank you. I love you. Garrett and Daniel, y'all are the best brothers I could have asked for. You guys have always had my back, and I'm glad to call you my brothers. From playing video games in the early hours of the morning to going out fishing, some of my favorite memories are with you guys. Thanks for always sticking it out with me. I love you guys. Mr. Wade, there are a few men who have my respect, and you are on the top of the list. Not many men can juggle the sheer amount of responsibilities you have come to bear, yet even through it all, you've inspired me through your numerous talents, such as your leadership, your work ethic, and your Christ-like characters. Among these responsibilities, I would include a mentor. Because of you, I have learned a great deal about these qualities and grown to appreciate nature more, working harder than ever before, and see God in ways I have never seen him before. Thank you so much for your continuous support in all my endeavors and molding me into the man I am today. I would also like to thank everyone who has prayed for me in my future. Without your faith and dedication, I doubt I would have made it as far as I have. But because of you all, I have made it farther than I ever could have hoped without you. Thank you so much. Will the following people please stand? Um, first, I want all the guys, both village and from the dorm, to please stand. Um, my mom and dad, my grandparents and my uncle, my brothers, um, Rebecca, Esther, Carly, um, and Mr. Hallam, Dean Rogers, and Pastor Will. Dear Mom, thank you for raising me up in a home where I felt loved and cared for. Sabbath School, Adventurers, Pathfinders, and now Highland were many of the reasons why I'm still here at Highland and in church and why I have created so many good memories throughout my life. Because in my lowest moments, the memories created there reminded me of your sacrifices and God's love for me. Dad, thank you for teaching me the love of hard work. Thank you for cultivating a love for God and His creation through nature. I will always cherish all of our camping trips together, from the ones we had in the midsummer heat to the ones we had in the cold winter breeze. Thank you both for your prayers and unconditional love. Because of both of you, I am here today following in the Lord's footsteps. Thank you for being the best parents I could ever ask for. I love you both. Josias and Hasid. I love you both very much. Even when you think you made me mad, I still love you both. Thank you for all the memories we got to share growing up. Raising a family with all boys was not an easy task for mom and dad. And now that we have yet another brother, I ask that you continue to make memories that you will want to remember with Matthias. To my uncles and aunts, thank you all for being the best. Thank you for taking care of me as I was growing up. Thank you for teaching me love for sports, art, and music. And thank you for always just being willing to be there and having that bonding time we had with our cousins growing up and because of you all I grew to just enjoy my childhood so much and create so many great memories with all the birthday parties and events we had together thank you to my grandpa and my grandma thank you for the fun memories we were able to make together thank you for the ice cream on hot summer days thank you for the pool parties and thank you for all the sleepovers we had over at your house 
I enjoyed all the fun things we did growing up with you all, and I love you very much. Nathaniel, although we have only known each other for a year, you are one of the closest friends I have. Thank you for being a positive influence of my life and on campus. On my worst days, your smile and positive attitude always encourage me to keep pushing forward. I pray that God continues to bless and protect you every day and that you will never lose that smile you carry everywhere you go. the following people please stand. Granny and Grandpa, Joey and Ariana, Dad and Brandy, Lyric, Addison, Uncle Richard, Miss A and Micah, Doug and Bonnie, Seth, Miss Crystal and Daddio, Miss Latonia and Pastor Roger, Mrs. Thomas, Mr. Ashcraft, Mr. Alvarez, Double R, Dean Wiesner, PW, Mr. Keener, Ian, Houston, Caroline, Maddie, Jackson, Chelsea, Alliance, Juan, Fur, Jan, and Sam Robles. Granny and Grandpa, thank you for providing me with things I could have never imagined. Because of the love and support both of you have provided me, I have been able to achieve so much. Granny, thank you for being a built-in best friend and always laughing at my jokes when you definitely should not. Thank you for noticing the things I love and doing your best to make me more than happy. Grandpa, thank you for all the patience you have shown me throughout my life. Whenever you are around, I know I have someone to talk to and someone to confide in. Along with having a confidant in you, I also have a mechanic, a handyman, a cook, and so much more. I wouldn't want anyone else to teach me how to make a table in one night. Thank you, Granny and Grandpa, for being here and loving me. But most of all, thank you for supporting me in every way. Joey, I don't believe I could have asked for a better big brother. You have become a part of who I have become, whether that be in my taste in music or TV shows or in how I crave your cooked ramen or potatoes from time to time. I have so many fond memories of you and I growing up together. I love you, Joey. Maddie, I never knew that two completely separate people could also be the same exact person in so many ways. My appreciation for you grows by the second and I will always cherish you. Caroline, I cannot imagine what these last four years would have been like without you by my side for every moment. Can you believe we made it from graduating kindergarten together to now graduating high school? I will miss our unnecessary sonic runs, blasting music, yelling at each other, and doing literally everything together. Mrs. Thomas, Mr. Ashcraft, and Mr. Alvarez, I have a million things to say about all of you and the impact you have made on my life, but sadly, I was given a time limit on my gratitude. To sum it up very shortly, all of you are the reason I'm pursuing my career in education. I have received more love from you than anyone can imagine. You have all supported me and pushed me to be the best version of myself. Miss A and Micah, thank you for providing me and Caroline with a warm meal and a nice bed every Thursday night for the last four years. You have watched me grow throughout my whole life and have always supported me. I also would like to say thank you to Principal Watkins. Don't be scared about losing your job in a few years. I'll come back and make sure Highland still has a PW. To all my family and friends, thank you for guiding me and encouraging me in everything I do. Without all of you, none of this would have happened. I give all of the credit to everyone in my life and to God.
got nothing new How could I express All my gratitude I could sing these songs As I often do But every song must end you get shy on me lift up your song cause you've got a lion inside of those lungs get up and praise the Lord oh come on my soul oh don't you get shy on me lift up your song cause you've got a lion inside
But you have made the mighty oceans, the fiery stars, the fields and forests give you praise, my Lullabies have all been sung. We're tucking in another day. The stars appear now one by one. But the stillness moves and the silence yields. And not a single beat is lost. The chorus in the fields, taking up where we left off, and your praise goes on, rising to your throne, where you guard us while we dream, past the stars. Praises fill 